while the Nova Scotia Premier Ian Rankin is apologizing for two impaired driving charges from nearly two decades ago. Rankin publicly acknowledging the charges yesterday. The first was in 2003, and then he was charged again in 2005. Well, Chris O'Neill Yates is in Halifax with more on this story. So, Chris, uh, good to see you. Tell us a bit more about these charges. Well, it came at the beginning of the COVID briefing yesterday. Uh, Premier uh, Rankin said reporters had been inquiring uh, from various news outlets. So he started the briefing by talking about these convictions. One was dismissed, the 2005. The other was a, a suspension. And here's what he had to say about uh, the charges and the fact that it was really known to people who knew him that he had been charged twice. I make no excuses for my behavior. I was wrong and I made a bad decision. I'm very, very sorry for my actions half a lifetime ago. I was selfish. It has not happened since, and this is something I told my leader, Premier McNeil, and the party when I ran as an MLA in 2013. Again, when I decided to run for the Liberal leadership, I disclosed it. I've never kept it a secret. So the timing is rather interesting here because an election call is imminent. Uh, Premier Rankin has to call an election within a certain period of time. So the question is now, what difference will this make, this disclosure? It's not as if it was something that he had hidden from anyone. It might be news to some people in the public, but how will people react to this? We know an election has to come. Is he just getting this out of the way now in order to clear the way for an election? There have been a lot of announcements, so that is certainly in the works. So the question is, how will it affect his chances of being reelected? But he stressed that this was a part of his past and that he's learned from it, that he was quite young. So he's laid this out there for the public to digest. And I guess it will be a matter of time before we know when Nova Scotians go to the polls how they're reacting to the fact that the Premier was charged twice with impaired driving. Well, we are watching, Chris. Thank you for that. Appreciate it. Chris O'Neill Yates in Halifax.